Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.15. Suggest a suitable physical situation for each of the following graphs. Here we have three graphs. The first graph is based on xt, b is vt graph, c is at graph. We will discuss one by one. In the first xt graph, I am naming it this point is P, this point is Q. Between P and Q, this line is along time axis. That means the particle is or the body is at rest. If I am naming this point is R, between Q and R, there is a slope, there is constant slope. That means the body is moving with uniform speed or uniform velocity. At point R2, suppose say point C, again the slope is constant but somewhat lesser with compared to QR that is traveling with reduced speed. At point A, yes, again the position become zero. That means that come back to its came back to its initial position. And if you take this is the point T between S and T, the position became negative. That means that is crossing its initial position. And between T and U again. The position is constant. That means the body came to rest. We can take this situation. This is initial position of the body. T and Q points. It is stationary. That means its speed is 0. And it is moving forward like this. And it strikes suppose say a wall. Up to point R, it is moving with some constant speed V1. So, QR is nothing but this one, we can say. At R, the position is decreasing. That means the displacement is decreasing. We can take like this. That means it is returning back. At this point is suppose say yes. So, P, Q and S all are at same position. But it is not stopped there. It is travelled somewhat like this up to point T and point U also. So, this is the situation here we can. But here this speed is somewhat different speed from R onwards till S yes, there is V2 somewhat V2 is smaller than V1 and again between S and T here S is initial position between T and U here at this point UT again velocity is 0. So based on this I will give you an example. A ball on being kicked rebounds from the wall. with reduced speed and then moves to the opposite wall
and then stops. So this is the physical situation for this graph we can write. Coming to B, if you observe the velocity initially higher, it is a decreasing, decreasing, becoming zero and again increasing in opposite direction. So assume that it is 1. While coming to the second part, again the speed is somewhat higher but lesser with compared to the initial. Again decreasing, becoming 0 and again increasing in opposite direction. And it is similarly 3, it is similarly 4 and so on. So what this represents? This situation is nothing but the motion of a ball thrown up with some initial velocity it hits the ground and gets rebounded with a reduced speed it goes on hitting the ground and after each hit its speed decreases and finally its speed becomes zero and it is coming to rest so how we can take this one Initially, a body is thrown vertically upwards and it is coming back like this. Initially, speed is high and speed is goes on decreasing. Finally, it is zero like this and again coming back. So, it is related to one. And again, whenever it is rebouncing like this, but it does not reach the same height, means same height. In the second case, the rebouncing at the time of rebouncing, the speed is lesser. That's why it is raising lesser height coming back. Second time again it rebounces coming back. And like this, this process takes place continuously until its speed becomes zero. So this is the situation for B. While coming to C, it is acceleration time graph. From here to, I am naming it again, it is nothing but suppose say point P, point Q. P to Q, its acceleration is 0. Acceleration is 0 means the body is moving with constant velocity. But suddenly, this acceleration is increased. 
and again become zero. Again, it is moving with constant speed. This situation we can take like this. The acceleration time graph represents the motion of a uniformly moving cricket ball. Turned back by hitting it with a bat for a very short interval of time. That means here is a cricket ball moving with sudden constant speed and it is striked with a bat turned back by hitting it and again there is coming back. So at the time of hitting this one the time interval is very smaller, there is change in speed or there is change in velocity within short interval of time which leads to the acceleration. So, rises quickly as shown graphically AT graph. So, these are the physical situation related with suitable for the given graphs. Thank you.